Hey, Tox. <laughs> hey, it worked. Fucking bushwhacking. Alright, guys. Welcome back to yet another episode of All Rocket Gaming on the wonderful M80 server pack. Uh, man, a lot has gone on. I have been so blessedly busy. I, I told you guys that in my, uh, my little channel update. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's been nightmarish, and Talks really wanted to get some recording in so we could actually show off some of the work we've done. So, there I am, half awake. <laughs> How's it going, man? Uh, I haven't been sleeping, so I'm half awake, too. Yay! Man, for the last time we got together to do recording, it was, uh, you were broken and I was sick, and now uh, we're both half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk around just eating people's brains and call it good. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh... Talks, things don't look the same. Not at all. I I, I think I think we've changed things around again. <laughs> yes, we have. And just 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 for the sake of, of humor and clarity, guys, this is actually there's actually an iteration between the last time we showed you this and this one here. This was just getting things down to testing some ideas out and uh, just getting things to work properly. Trains really we've learned get really fidgety and problematic when they're on bends and being held up because they, they're kind of springy in their connection. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it caused a lot of issues. So we went ahead and split everything apart in terms of services. We've got uh, the actual harvest strain right here. Who's picking up all the wonderful luscious goodness we call Oak. We've got the sledge train on the line right here. And then we've got, uh, uh, power. Yes. Yes, power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh. yeah, power train comes in here, and then finally we've got fertilizer train. We actually have a lot of fertilizer now. Um, we're actually using the industrial fertilizer, because thanks to uh, Yankee, we got uh, some sewer grades set up under the sheep farm, and now the sheep are pooping us into uh, all kinds of fertilizer. So I'll probably talk about that in some future episode if I get around to it <laughs> again when I have time. Uh, talks, how do the trains know which lines to go on to? Uh, right now we are currently sorting the trains by color. Um, so this train here, what is that, gray, I think? Must be gray. Um, mm -hmm. We're kind of treating that as an item train. So uh, this routing switch motor uh, has a routing table that requests gray trains. Gray locomotives will come in here. Uh, the next one here is the sludge train, and that's looking for black, black locomotives. Primary color black, secondary color black. To come in here, you pick up sludge, and then we, of course we got the white, white. And um, that one doesn't have a routing table in because it's right at the very end, but that's where the brown, brown train is going to come in. And yes, we it, made the, the fertilizer train brown. Yes. <laughs> Insert yucks here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the big changeover, and the underpinnings of how the system works have not changed. Um, the only the only massive change we may make is we may actually add another harvester like this one here uh, to the mix, just so the thing can harvest a little faster. That's just going to get down to when we finally burn through what Yankee gave us for wood <laughs> uh, from his deep storage unit. We'll see what the ratios are of how fast we're building up versus burning. <laughs> from the uh, um, power plant, and we'll, we'll find that fine line. I'll be honest with you, though, uh, it does take time, as you can see here with this uh, loader. Um, it takes a little time to get the thing filled up. But that said, when you've got, as you can see here, uh, a fertilizer, uh, a fertilizer train running fertilizer here, this thing just goes endlessly, so it works pretty fast. So. Also, uh, sludge has been a, an asset to us because we've actually been boiling that down. We'll show you that in a few. So, that said, talks. Is there anything else about forestry that's interesting? Not specifically about forestry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, jump out real quick and head on back over towards the city. Um, there's been a, a lot of changes. A lot of changes uh, going on of there. Changes. So we want to show you guys what's been going on. So we're going to go ahead and maybe follow these little trains out, and then uh, we'll meet you over near Hubtown. So uh, we'll be right back. Burp.
And welcome back. So we're back here at the intersection. This is the uh, the main intersection where Rourke's uh, trains and Forge trains meet up. And uh, you'll see it's uh, quite different now. And there's a good reason for that. Um, we had a catastrophic failure <laughs> um, that resulted in a crater and a lot of missing trains. So um, we decided for the sake of simplicity and my sanity... Then we just go ahead, and since we had this train on two different levels, the tracks were on two different levels, it was just easier to do a bypass rail. And this made things infinitely easier for us, because at this point, all we have to worry about is having some simple redstone or rail logic saying, if there's anybody, like this little track right here that's merging, if there's anybody on the track behind or the track in front, wait. Very, very simple. And then for the outbound here, whoa, it almost got hit. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing it's going slow through here. For the outbound, we've got just a simple uh, routing switch. It looks for uh, currently the moniker of forestry. Um, and it peels those off and heads them on down. Now, this will change a little bit. Um, we are going to be having two more locations added into our train lines. One is the... the uh, Biasteri that uh, VSD and uh, Argentum have set up, as well as uh, VSD has broken ground on a magic town uh, out uh, south of Forestry. So those will likely be tying into the line going out that way. So anyways, um, pretty pretty straight and simple. We've also done a little bit of logic in terms of instead of having trains blow through intersections at top speed and trying to kill each other and ourselves, since we both <laughs> have gotten run over a few times now, we've started doing limiter tracks to slow them down a little bit. Um, coming into town, we slow them down. Um, yeah, those ones are rough right now. Yeah, slow them down a bit more so that they're actually doing kind of a normal speed. These trains are meant down to be. To speed too. This is actually supposed to be kind of a pseudo, uh, like our streets, the city street. They're running the trains right straight down. And we've got buildings on you know multiple sides here. Um, so we want to have the trains slow down, do a, little, a slower speed, so people are running around. They're not going to get squished. <laughs> At least down as easily. Uh, <laughs> um, another thing you'll notice here is there's a lack of train going out to the power plant. Yeah. And that is a big deal because uh, I have other projects I'm doing in the power plant. And uh, there's a little sneak peek for you I'm not going to talk about right now because today's all about talks and trains. So, um, yeah, look forward to this. This is a big update. Um, all of our train stuff has moved. And it has moved... Over to the Two main part of the industrial area. Yeah, so we've got uh, our... We're looking for a train or something over there. I, I'm, I'm sure a train's going to end up popping up on us real quick here, but um, a lot of this is temporary, still working things out, but just to give you an idea of what happened is we actually broke things apart. Again, we're doing dedicated trains for certain services. So in this case, we've got power trains that come into the little power station here. Um, again, currently, white trains. Yeah, that's the white ones. Um and those are currently there's two of them running. They're just a single single train with a uh, a bat box cart and a uh, an anchor cart. So there's a little zippy guys that run back and forth. And then this is Tox's favorite over here. <laughs> Hi, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, kids, uh, just 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 block out that part of the screen. Rude has a bad habit of saying things you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got uh, this little line over here, which is going to be our future processing uh, plant. Oh, uh, right now, we have our our sludge train running off here, so we've got a little sludge boiler. And what's really cool about this little guy here is this little sludge boiler would take all the sludge, we dump at it, and turn it into. Um, a bevy of things from dirt to clay to sand, um, heat sand from uh, Natura, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so it's just it, it's great so we can actually utilize stuff. Yeah, we could void pipe it, but again, like utilizing everything. So, uh, last but not least, we currently have um, a very temp and very bugged solution, which is our uh, oh, there's a little such train. Hello, such train. <laughs> Um, we have our item trains coming through here. So we've got lanes coming in, and there's a drop-off on this side to unload, and then pick up on this side for specialty things. Right now, all we have set up is uh, charcoal for rue and fertilizer for forestry. Um, it's got problems. It doesn't work well, and uh, quite frankly, it wasn't meant to really be a permanent solution. Um, 
But we have something better, and which I'm going to show you in a minute. But first things first, we have all these trains coming in, and they all have to know how to get to where. So, talks. How yeah. do they know how the hell to get to where they need to go? Um, originally, we had uh, um, golden tickets uh, set up with trains. The sludge train is still over here, so I'll show you that guy. Um, his golden ticket says forestry. So, at the intersection, we have it uh, directed. We have a go uh, routing table over there that takes forestry off to the forestry side. And works just goes straight through. Um, uh, but one of the things we found uh, while just hanging around here is for the trains that, like the power train that we have, um, two of the same color train, we like to be able to see without having to catch up to the locomotive um, and right click it and get our cursor over before the locomotive's too far away um, to see where it's going. So, from a glance, I can see this is Forestry's uh, power train because the secondary color on the rim there is green. So that's the new system we're starting to implement. It's only half implemented right now. Um, it's still routing t to the cities by uh, golden tickets. Um, but we plan to, in the future, route it by secondary color. And uh, just so you know, um, uh, we're working with something power of it comes. Um, if I look at the routing table here. Here comes another one. Is it white? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, uh, train. This, uh, the routing table says white any. So the primary color is white. Um, and the secondary color can be anything. It can be white. It can be green. It can be whatever color we're going to um, uh, set to be Rurik's color. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> Designation. Designate, yeah. Or um, allocation. Long story yeah. short, we, we, we've actually talked, thanks to his brilliance of now understanding routing tables, um, we figured out that we can actually utilize color both to identify trains for routing for services as well as trains for routing for designation. And at this point, it makes things a little easier for us because it basically means we can have uh, up to 16 different trains that are uh, dedicated to towns and dedicated to services. Um, that may have to change in the future. Uh, who knows? Um, but at least what it does for us makes things a little easier in that we can say, if anybody needs power services, throw a train in the line, paint it white. Secondary color can be you know whatever designation we give them for their town if they need it. And if people don't need a designation for a town, they can just go ahead and leave it blank. We'll, we'll, we, can, we can say, for example light gray, the default color, dark gray, whatever it is, is default no town. It's, you know, a specialty or whatever. Um, but that way people can put a train on tracks and say, it's black, it means it's going to drop off sledge, or it's white, it's going to pick up power. Yeah. So it makes things a little bit easier for us. And that frees up golden tickets, which allow us to specify items. items. Yep. <laughs> so for that, talks, boy, have we been working hard. Yes, we have. Twice. <laughs> somebody crashed the server. <laughs> so, somebody, nasty, uh, uh, crashed the server. We had to recover, and unfortunately, we lost some of our work. Luckily, we were able to recover, and uh, luckily, it wasn't too big a big a deal. But um, we're going to be replacing that uh, little broken system back there with a slightly more refined, slightly larger system here. Ta 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 ta! Welcome to so Item Routing awesome. 2.0. <laughs> I love the way this turned out. I, I'm I'm actually very happy with it. I'm glad you like it too, because uh, it was a whole lot of trying to figure things out. Now this this was a, this was a challenge in itself because um, a we needed to have a lot of space. We wanted to have a, a good bit of running capacity. So we've got our outbound track here. We've got a couple of bypass tracks. If we need to pull trains off for any reason, we can actually just hit a lever and have them turn off so we're not chasing trains down trying to catch them. <laughs> um, but when trains come in, fun. they're going to come down this line here. The first split they're going to have is going to be, are you an offloading train or are you a pickup train? So and we're planning trains. on uh, having a separate uh, service color for 
for items coming into town and items going out of town. Yes, thank you. So that way we can actually have uh, uh, have trains split off here. If they're just dumping off and come down here, this is going to be the same basic logic, which uh, I'll, I'll talk about a little more in depth later. I actually uh, developed some logic for a pseudo round robin for trains so that all trains get equal chance to get out, so to speak. But drop off trains will come down here. Item pickup trains, just to make things easy. And again, this is still kind of temporary because we don't know what our future is going to be in terms of item transport. But basically, we've set it up so we've got effectively uh, 11 lines worth of space for a specialized train. So Ruark can have a train that's dedicated to charcoal, us to fill, uh, forestry for fertilizer, and so on. And these are just going to be very, very simple routing switches with uh, nomenclature for a golden ticket. So again, this because we freed up the golden tickets, um, we can now use them to... to identify anything so any item that's in the game we can be very specific if we want to or very broad if we need to so that way all the trains come down here to these different banks and they can get uh filled up or dropped off and then they're just gonna follow right back around and what i've done to make things easy again is they're gonna have four lanes here that can round robin back into a single line and then all these single lines meet up together and again just round robin to get back out so nice big open uh system very easy to work with hopefully <laughs> and again because we've got this nice big long straight tracks we shouldn't have problems with trains getting derpy on us because we had we we've had trains that somehow managed to go the wrong way on uh routing tracks and all kinds of crazy things so uh it, it's been an experience but uh yeah so um just so you guys know um uh, this place here, like I said, is a little bit difficult to put in because we need to have the space for it. But also, uh, right above us here, this ceiling is one block below street level. So we had, literally, we, we pushed up just absolutely as high as we could go. So much so that the uh, temporary system we have in place is actually impeding us from finishing the ceiling. <laughs> as you can see here. <laughs> We've got a bunch of holes in the ceiling where the wiring from the old, old system is still getting in our way. Uh, this wood here is actually the objects that the uh, routing logistics is sitting on. So, um, And they need to sit on something. And they need to sit on something. And then about two or so blocks below us is the subway, uh, which I really haven't shown you guys yet, but yeah, we do have a subway system that we're putting in place so people can get around Hubtown more easily. Um, so we really had to kind of slip this in uh, as, as neatly as possible and still make it look good, make it functional. And that way, um, we can get what we need done here. And it, it just made sense to put this under the data center since that's our main store. So, uh, long story short, this is another big project kind of got <laughs> added to our plates unintentionally. Um, so, that's that's kind of the big news here. Uh, there is one other big piece of news related to trains. And I, I apologize if you guys are bored of trains. I am too, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he handed the, it off to me. Yeah, so uh, it, it, it's official. Uh, I asked Talks if he wanted to take over as being kind of the lead uh, lead architect uh, of the rail system. I'm still going to be helping him, obviously, and uh, being extra pair of hands. But a lot of things like the coloring system, for example, and how we're doing that, it's now Talks is now the, the, the lead architect. So he's the one that actually makes the decisions. I'll lend input, give you know, give advice, but at this point, it's pretty much in his hands. So if this train's blowing up everywhere, it's his fault. And uh, it, it was a, it was a very it was a very arduous process of. of make a decision to put talks in charge. I asked him and he didn't say no. So I basically said no backsies. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations talks. Yes, which says she made me scared. <laughs> I, 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 I now dub the sir in charge of trains. <laughs> Did you just chicken slap me? <laughs> no, I knighted you. Chicken knighted you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, so that's that's pretty much that right now, guys. Uh, I am I am, again. My apologies for just being so haphazard with with, with videos. It's been nightmarish for both me and Tox. Tox is doing the whole working thing, and I'm doing the whole trying to survive thing. Um, yeah. But he's... and my arm still isn't uh, completely fixed either. <laughs> so so you know. 
we do we do have big plans. There's a lot a lot of good stuff that's gonna be happening. Um, to give you just a little kind of a preview, uh, I put this building actually right where the data center was a while ago. I may have mentioned one of my other videos. Um, but the cutout for that area was actually this building was actually there. And I decided I didn't want it there. And I actually used uh, Redstone Emotion and actually picked the entire building up <laughs> and flew it <laughs> over here. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, so I'm likely going to put a small little you know slant shack off the back of this. But basically this area here is going to be uh, rail fab. So everything related to rail craft we're going to automate in this area here. Then um, be able to tap off our main system. And then out here... Yeah. Um, we see the line coming through, coming from when Forestry comes out from Hubtown, comes around. Um, this is going to be kind of a rail yard. Uh, this side of it right here that's been flattened out, this is actually going to be rail services. So trains that come in that need to be refueled, recold. Um, we can even set uh, special routing switches so that if we know a particular train needs to be taken out of service for any reason, we can set a rail. Uh, a rail switch, or a, uh, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but there's there's rails we can actually dump an item into, a ticket or a, a routing table, excuse me, into. So we can actually pull that off for service, things like that. And then on the other side, with this big, flat, huge area, I'm just going to put a huge rail yard. It'll be more cosmetic than anything, but you'll see, like, rows of, uh, of chest carts and tank carts and so on. Um, another thing we're going to be putting in the service, as I said earlier, is we're going to be having a couple of new cities getting service, or well, let's say locations getting service. So this line right here, um, I originally put in um, a diagonal, and diagonals you really can't do with real craft because you can't monitor them. That's another story for another day, but I'm running this line straight out, and that's going to go to B's. It's out that way, because it's a little line that says B's, as well as it wraps around the back side of Hubtown heading south. Uh, basically going to be a south line out to wherever, so Tox's house or some other city or whatever. Uh, and then the Magic City, the VSD is setting up somehow, somewhere around where that end portal marker is. So, uh, anyways, that's that's in the works, that's stuff to come. Um, this area that's our little service area for the trains will also have a uh, service tower. And in that tower or building or whatever we decide to do, we're actually going to have a really cool map that's going to show all of the lines we're actually have remote monitors that can show us where the trains are on the track so i we can use this that. area to build new trains too can we yeah absolutely that's basically basically what kind of you know hence the, the look of the uh, tracks here you know this is kind of where trains come in for service and get built and so on yeah. so all right guys that's it for now we're running a little bit long Oops. here but it's been so long so we've had a chance to actually um do a video together that I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to kick with talks here and actually get a chance to do this. So, uh, as always, we do appreciate your time. We do appreciate you joining us. If you have any questions, curiosities, and whatnot, there's the comment section right down below. Even better, uh, leave us a like. Let us know what you're into, what you're not into. If you're sick and tired of trains, give us a thumbs down. Uh, <laughs> I can take Please it. Don't. It's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I respect your input. Um, but seriously, guys, the, the likes certainly do help. So if you give it a thumbs up, it helps get, you know, give us an idea of what's going on and whatnot. Uh, and of course, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the little button right below the video here. Subscribe to uh, us and, and love us and, and hang out with us every week when we try to derp around and make things right. And uh, the train is still going to screw up. Just waiting for oh it. yeah, that's totally gonna screw up. Let's uh, there it goes. Oh, there it yep, goes. See? Yep. It's that's derping. why I'm tired of this. It's derping. <laughs> uh, even, better, better than even the comments in the. Uh, oh wow, that's a special yeah. train. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I know that those two events are really out now. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> want to give us input as to why yeah. our trains are derpy, uh, feel free to uh, stop by the Ball Rocket Gaming Gaming dot com website and. Uh, talk at us um i definitely encourage uh people uh 
uh, post comments and whatnot there because it's a common place where we all coalesce at for conversation and whatnot. And you can see what our plans are, what's going on in the uh, Minecraft world. So definitely stop by there. And of course, as I said many, many times before, if you're interested in a modded Minecraft experience and you want to uh, see about if we're a good fit for you, uh, please feel free to uh, sign up on our uh, forums and apply for the uh, uh, whitelist on our server. And we'll talk and uh, see how things go. Until then, I'm Jester. I'm Toxic. And uh, we're going to go fix derpy trains. They'll fall out around for a while. <laughs>